Simon, tell us a little bit about this wall. It looks quite different to ones I've seen before. It is very, very different actually. Um, it's one of the first of its type in, uh, in the UK. Um, I think there's only one other one in, in Ireland I think I found on the website. The reason why it's so unique uh, is obviously they completely taken a plaster cast mould of a real crag in a, in a foreign country. That's why it looks so scary. <laughs> yeah, so it looks so scary. But also it looks so sort of like beautiful and looks like a real crag and it gets you re-involved and gives you that feeling of being outside. So. so what kind of people do you get coming to use this? Is it just serious climbers? Uh, no, we get a full spectrum of society coming a lot of the time. It's quite surprising. We've got quite a few popular kids clubs going on with children as young as five all the way up to sort of 11, 12, up to 18. And then we've got uh, sort of mothers who come in uh, on their sort of their days off or their lunch times off. We've got lots of businessmen, lots of people who work in the outdoors, like committed climbers, hardcore climbers, even a few famous faces now, popular faces in now and then. That's a massive variety, but it is quite, from what I hear, it is quite energetic, it's quite physical. Definitely, like when you first start out, it's, uh, it's quite challenging. Uh, use every muscle in your body, and uh, it's it's a, it's a very very adventurous, challenging sport in general. Uh, once you get used to it, though, once you've had a couple of goes, uh, you'll find it's not as hard as everyone thinks, uh, and you do get a lot of achievement out of it and a lot of exhilaration. I believe you. All right. <laughs>